All right, now I want you to use what you have learned in this section and add validation to our movie form. Now, there are a few things I want you to pay attention to here. First, you can see that release date is automatically initialized to this date, which is the default value for daytime objects in .NET. Also, number in stock is initialized to zero. So if you follow exactly the steps I've shown you in this section, you will end up with a form like this. Now for this exercise, don't worry about these weird initial values in the form. Do the exercise and when you finish, watch the next lecture. There I will explain a few different ways to solve this problem. Now in terms of the actual validation in the form, let me clear these fields and submit the form. You can see that all fields are required. Also for the number in stock, if I put in zero, I get a different validation message telling me that the number should be between one and 20. I use 20 as an arbitrary number, assuming that in a video rental store, we probably wouldn't have more than 20 copies of a given movie, but that's just an arbitrary assumption. So to implement this validation, I have used the range data annotation that I mentioned earlier in this section. Also here we have client side validation sure to enable it. And finally, I've protected this page using an anti-forgery token. So go ahead and to this form, including client-side validation and anti-forgery tokens. And when you finish, watch the next lecture.